God. Thank you so much for inviting me to do School of Prayer. Uh, it's, uh, I, I really enjoy uh, uh, talking about prayer. And so let's start with prayer, okay? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And let us focus our prayer on our Holy Father by thanking him for this wonderful program and for the opportunity to be together as brothers and sisters seeking him out to try and learn more about him here at this wonderful parish family. We ask you, Lord, and we know that when we turn to you, you always send us your Holy Spirit. And so, Holy Spirit, welcome here today and move freely. Open our hearts and our minds to hear what you have for us as individuals. Help us to be better followers of Jesus Christ. And this is what we pray for, and we pray for it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, last uh, time I was up here talking to you about prayer, I talked to you about two methods that I used. One was reading some scripture and using it as a touch point to go move into prayer. And another method that I talked about was journaling. Has anybody tried any of those uh, at home in your private time? And is it working for you? Have you, have you had some good experience with it? Good. Uh, keep trying, and maybe you can share some of your experiences uh, later on when you have table time uh, about how that worked out for you. Uh, I always felt that journaling was uh, uh, really good because you sort of had an opportunity to empty everything and really see it on paper and then give the Lord time to respond to you. So that was always good. The thing that struck me during the week when I was asked to talk for just a few minutes about prayer this week was St. Paul commanding us to pray incessantly. And, you know, I think that we all um, have work to do. I mean, you know, we're, we go to work every day, we drive in cars, we're in trains, we're flying on airplanes, we're in meetings, we're on conference calls, uh, whether you're... Uh, husband, father, mother, we're also very, very busy shopping, keeping the house together, managing children. How on earth do we have time to get down on our knees, bow our heads, and position our hands to pray? And is that really what Paul is talking about? I don't think so. I think that what Paul is thinking about is being mindful that we are not alone. And this is such a wonderful thing for those of us who are people of faith. Can you imagine if we didn't have faith, we would think that we were in this all by ourselves. We would be all alone. Every decision we made, good or bad, we were totally 100% responsible for. And we had no one to sort of bounce the idea off of. So I think that one of the first things that Paul means when he talks about praying incessantly is to, as you go through your day, be mindful of the fact that God is with you. You aren't alone. You have a running dialogue. Whether it's a verbal dialogue or whether it's a mental dialogue, you're with him. Sometimes I walk around the corner and I see an old couple sitting on the porch out front, and they're in their chairs, and they're just enjoying, you know, a sunny afternoon. And they're there for hours, and I never see them open their mouths and talk. But there's communication going on, I have no doubt. And so it's the same with us and God. We can have this running conversation. He is always part of our, our, of our prayer. The other thing is, uh, the other aspect of it is God's surrender. We hate the word surrender. We're Americans. We don't. We don't surrender to anything. Unfortunately, we have to, sur to surrender to God's will often. And sometimes we don't quite understand what he's leading us to because he really, you know, he tells us he's going to light the path with just a little bit of the path. He doesn't illuminate the whole future for us. So we have to have faith in him, and so surrender to him. When, I, when it's a, a, a question of my will or his will, I have to be mindful that it's his will that I need to go with. When life gets rough, 
and the garbage starts to pile up, what Paul is telling us to do is raise our sights above the garbage and stare into the eyes of Christ. Look up and at God. Don't be looking at the garbage. God will take care of all of that. Just let that be. Um, if we don't pray, uh, we would have to depend on ourselves. So how's that working for you? Okay, and not so good in, in many cases. So we need to constantly pray. Increasing prayer, in essence, uh, the continual dependence upon prayer is the way we communicate with the Father. So this is, this is what it's all about. And when you are alone, you need to remember you're not. When two or three are gathered together, God is in your midst. He's always just a prayer away. Now let's end with a real quick prayer that I think our technicians brought up for us. And I, I hate draining slides, but there's not much on this one. But it's very important, I think. Lord Jesus, may the God of peace himself make you perfectly holy, and may your entirely spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Deacon. 